Hi. Hi, teacher. Hi, guys. Hi. Hello. Hi, good evening. Good evening. Hi, Eric. Hi, Mario. Jose. Hi. Hi. Hi Natalie. Hi. Rocio, I'm great. Hi. Anna, Walter, Elmer, Francisco. Very good. Thank you for turning on your Rocio. <laughs> Hi, Rocio. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Fine, fine, thanks. All right, nice to see you. So thank you for turning on your camera so I can see you and we can make eye contact. That's very important when we're communicating. But I understand if you don't want to, all right? But if you can, please do so. So El Mercito, please turn your cameras on. <laughs> all right, guys. So yesterday we were talking, we were using some adjectives or some, uh, thank you, Anna, some vocabulary about success. That's what we were talking about. And then at the very end, thank you, Francisco, at the very end, we were also talking about the in places that you may find in town, all right? So that was yesterday. Today, we're going to talk about giving reasons, all right? So hi, Ellie, welcome, all right? So if you have studied the platform, and I know some of you have, which is very, very good, and I appreciate it, and I congratulate you for doing that, uh, you have seen the <laughs> video, bless Sorry. you. That's okay. Yes. <laughs> so you have seen Thank the video you. and we're gonna go over it, not to like the whole part of the video, but I'm just, I just wanna go like to the main or the grammar part, all right? The rest, you can see it in case you have not seen it, you can see it after. All right, so this is where I wanted to take you giving reasons, ow, oh, giving reasons. So that's what we're going to be learning about today. We're gonna be using some, um, how do you call these ones? This um, conjunction. Sorry, I'm like, okay. I'm, uh, <laughs> uh, so these are the uh, conjunctions that we're going to be using in order for us to give reasons. All right. So I'm going to play the audio of this short uh, part of the um, video that we have on the platform. Giving reasons. I like the Casablanca because it's always packed. Since it's always so packed, there's a long wait outside the club. It's popular because of the fashionable people. The Soul Club is famous for its fabulous music. Due to the crowds, the Casablanca is difficult to get into. The reason people go there is just to be seen. All right, so here, guys, we have these uh, six sentences, and each sentence is using a different conjunction, all right? So, Eric, can you read the first one for us, please? Yeah. I like, uh-huh. Yes. I like the Casablanca because it's always packed. All right, I like the Casablanca because it's always packed, okay? So in that case, we're using because. Mario Cortez, can you read the second one, please? Since it always so packed, there is a long wait outside the club. All right, since it's always so packed, there is a long wait outside the club. Very good, thank you. Jose Rodriguez, can you read the third one, please? Josecito? No, all right, Ana, can you read the third one, please, Ana? Yes, it's popular because of the fashionable uh, people. Very good. It's popular because of the fashionable people. All right, Rocio, can you read number four? The Soul Club is famous for its fabulous music. Fabulous music. Very good. Natalie, can you read the fifth one? Okay. Due to the crowd, the Casablanca is difficult to get into. Very good, all right, due to the crowds, all right, the Casablanca is difficult to get into. And Francisco, the last one, please. The reason that. Francisco? Frank, Frank? Frank, I cannot hear you. Can you try now? No, Francisco, I don't hear anything. I don't know what is the problem. Oh, I hear you now. 
Okay. The reason that people go there is just seen. Excellent. The reason people go there is just to be seen. Very good. And Herbert, uh, the other reason why? The um, reason why? Um, the reason why people go there is just to be seen. All right. Very good. So here, guys, we have, as I said, we have six sentences and all of them are using a different conjunction. All right or a subordinating conjunction if you want to call it. So we have because, since, because of, for, due to, the reason that, or the reason why. Now, what do they all have in common is that they all, all of them give reasons, all right, for something, okay? So uh, the difference of them is not like a big difference right now, okay? So I'm going to keep on playing this and then I'm going to take you to a short presentation I have uh, telling you the difference of some of them, all right? The so reason that people go there is just to be seen. The reason why people go there is just to be seen. To give reasons, we may use because, since, because of, for, due to, the reason that, the reason why, is. Now, this is very important, guys. Mm -hmm. These are like the same conjunctions that we had on the previous uh, picture but now they are just there, okay? What, what you really need to know is that all of them can give a reason of something or for something, okay? So that's like, that is what is the most important thing that you need to remember is that all of these words, they give or they help you give a reason for something, all right? So for example, if I ask, um, Diego, Galicia, why do you study English? Can you tell me why, Diego? Can you tell us why you study English? I study English because I want to get a job. Excellent. All right. Thank you. Stay right there, Diego. Thank you. So I study English because I want to get a job. Now, what something is like really interesting here is that because only the one because it's the one that we mostly use, guys. So because it's the one that we use almost all the time. And it can also be like, let's say it's like informal because, for example, I asked Diego, Diego, why do you study English? And Diego was very proper saying, I study English because, all right? But Diego could have just said, because I want to get a job, all right? Instead of saying the first part of his sentence, instead of saying, um, I study English, he, he could have omitted it, all right? and just say, because I want to get a job. So that is something that, that's a feature that because has, all right, that it can just begin the reason. Just, I mean, just using because it starts giving you the reason with, without like saying what I already, all right, without repeating the, the information of the question. You can just begin by saying, because I want to get a job, all right? Natalie, why do you study English? I study English um, for to get a promotion. Okay. Okay. So you study English uh, for oh, getting for a promotion. For getting a promotion, that would be better. All right. Okay. Very good. Let's see, Anna. Why do you study English? Mm. Uh, do to mm -hmm. speak, speak um, another country. Oh, all right. Okay. All right. Okay. That's fine. Very good. Okay. So I want to show you something here, guys. Just let me see if this is the one. Okay. I'm going to stop sharing this one. And I'm going to... Hi, Magdiel, Elizabeth. Very good. Cecilia, Lisette. Oh, my goodness. Jenny, I got a full house to get today again. Mario and Selena, very good. All right. Okay, so here uh, we have this right here. So we have giving reasons, and I'm going to show you this one. Well, let's see if we can read it because the letters are not quite friendly today. All right, it says because. Because is more common than since. I'm talking about because and since right now, okay? Because is more common than since, and probably from like the other ones that we had on the platform both in writing and speaking. Usually you're going to listen to people using more because than since 
in writing and in speaking, all right? When we use because, we're focusing on the reason, all right? So as Diego told me, I want to get a job. I mean, I, I study English because I want to get a job. What is his reason? He wants to get a job, all right? So that's exactly. why he uses because, all right? She spoke quietly. Hold on. Okay, so if we have this sentence, she spoke quietly, she didn't want Catherine to hear, how can we join those two by using because? The first two sentences, guys, how can we join them by using because? Jose Ramos, can you try? Because of? Can you tell me the whole sentence? Like, can you join both sentences using in that case, well, let's try to use because only right now, Jose. I don't know who is spoke, but I would try it. Uh, she spoke quietly uh, because of she didn't want to Catherine to hear. Okay, all right. Thank you, Jose. She spoke quietly because she didn't want Catherine to hear, not because of, and I'm going to tell you why platform all right in this case you're just using because you're joining two sentences all right by using because she spoke quietly why ah because she didn't want Catherine to hear you give me the reason what's important there guys the reason is important okay i'm focusing on the reason she did not want Catherine to hear her all right selena we have the other two sentences we'll come over on sunday David got to work on Saturday. Uh-huh. How can we join those two sentences, Selena, by using because? Mm, I can try. Give me uh -huh. a second. That's right. Yeah, that's okay. <clears throat> Welcome over on Sunday because David's David go to work on Saturday. Not very good. We'll come over on Sunday. Why? Because David's got to work on Saturday. So the reason is that we cannot go on Saturday because David works. Okay, so you're focusing on the reason. Now, uh, let me see here. Barbara, can, can you keep on reading the blue letters? We often put the because clause. Uh, we often, the bar. Yes, yes, please. We often put the because clause at the beginning of a sentence, mm -hmm. especially when we want to give extra focus of, to the reason. We use a comma after the because clause. Thank you. All right. So can you read it? Um, Elmer, can you read the last sentence? Because breathing. Mm -hmm. Because breathing is something we do automat automatically. Automatically. Uh, automatically. Uh -huh. We rarely think about it. Thank you. All right. So what this is saying, guys, that sometimes we can have the because at the very beginning when you want to give extra focus to the reason. All right. But if you do that, you need to remember to write your commas. All right. So because breathing is something we do automatically, comma, we rarely think about it, okay? So in that case, we're giving an extra focus to the reason that we breathe automatically, all right? We don't think about it when we're breathing, all right? So that's how you can switch it. You can have the because in the middle as we like saw it before, she spoke quietly, whoops. Que me mancho mi pizarra. We spoke quietly because she didn't want Catherine to hear because she didn't want Catherine to hear she spoke quietly all right we can switch it guys and the meaning is going to be the same all right you understand that yes, yes? guys you yes. understand yes. yeah okay you seem quiet today um, all right okay Jenny hello. Uh, we have we we'll come over on Sunday because David's got to work on Saturday can you switch it Jenny um. The first and Davis go to uh -huh. the work on Saturday. Yes. Uh -huh. So now you have to write that because at the beginning. All right. And then just kind of like give it a switch. Okay. Um, 
I, I try. Uh, uh -huh. Because. Yes. Davis. Because uh -huh. Davis. Um, he go to the, he's go to work on Saturday. Okay. We'll come over on Sunday, right? What we do, Jenny, we switch it. All right, we add it because at the beginning and we say because David's got to work on Saturday, Kuma will come over on Sunday. You understand? Okay. All right, yeah? Okay, so in other words, guys, usually we're going to use because more than since, but we can use since, okay? I'm gonna, let me see here. Let's, let's keep on reading. Walter, can you read this, please? Okay, teacher. Thank you. We often use things when we want to focus more on the result, but the reason things since it's more formal than because. Excellent, all right. So, thank you, Walter. We often use since when we want to focus more on the result than the reason. Since is more formal than because, all right. Lisette, can you read, can you keep on reading, please? We usually. We usually put a comma before thing after the main clause. I hope they have decided to come soon. I wanted to hear about their India trip. Mm -hmm. The other one? They are they rather expensive, comma, thin, they are quite hard to find. Thank you. All right. So I hope they have decided to come since I wanted to hear about their India trip. They are rather expensive since they are quite hard to find. All right, continue. Um, Cecilia, can you continue, please? No, you're not there. All right. Here. Okay, thank you. Uh, we often, we often. Yes, that's right. Okay, we often use uh, things, clauses at the beginning of the sentences. We use a comma after the things, Close. All right. Read the example. Uh, so, so, since, since everything since. Things, everything can be done from home with computer and telephone. There's come come. There is no need to dress up for work anymore. <laughs> Thank you. And that's real right now, right? Since everything can yes. be done. Since everything can be done from home with computers and telephones, there's no need to dress up for work anymore. Now, that is the result, all right? It's not the reason. Do you understand the difference between result and reason? Guys, in this case, what they are telling us is, yeah, probably because and since they mean the same, but if you want to be more emphatic on the uh, result, you're going to use since. If you want to be more emphatic on the reason, then you need to use because. And if you want to be really, really emphatic on the reason, you use because at the very beginning of your sentence, okay? Because I want to get a job, I study English. Yes? Right? So I'm giving a lot of emphasis on my reason why I study English. Do you understand that? Do you guys understand that? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes? All right. Very good. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Nice. Huh? Okay. Let's continue here. Someone had a... All right. So let's continue here. I'm going to go back to the uh, presentation. I mean, to the uh, video on the platform. Let's continue listening to this. Let's begin with oh, because oh. and since. They mean the same, although since is more formal. Because and since are followed by a subject and a verb. All right, now this is like really important, guys, and this is the structure that you need to understand. For example, let's go back to the, uh, uh, let's go down to the example. It says, I love to go to, the, uh, I love the soul club because the music is great. I love the soul club since the music is great. Or you can say, because the music is great, I love the soul club. All right, so you can, you can play with it, but you need to have a subject and a verb, and you need to remember that, okay? Yes, guys? Okay. All right, yes. let's continue Subject here. plus verb. I love the soul club because the music is great. 
because or since can begin or end a sentence. When the clause is at the beginning, it is followed by a comma. All right, the comma is always necessary, guys, and you have seen this before. This whole course um, we're talking about if the if sometimes the comma needs to be in the middle because it divides the two clauses. So since it's packed, there is a long wait. Is that a result or a reason, guys? On the a first result. sentence, it's a result, all right? Very good. Since it's always packed, all right? Very good. Or there is a long wait since it's packed. So let's continue here. Since it's packed, comma, there's a long wait. Or there is a long wait since it's packed. Remember that there you don't need a comma because the since is kind of like taking the place of it, all right? So that's why you don't need a comma there. The clause with because or since is a subordinated one, not a main clause. If guys, because of I'm just and do subordinated here. one. Here, remember that. If I only have since it's, si yo solo vengo y le digo, Herbert, since it's packed, Herbert me va a ver a mí como que, el que hay, Jessica. All right, yo no puedo. That, that sentence is, it cannot stand alone, all right? Unless I'm a little crazy. Well, I am, but not that much, okay? So you, you need to have the rest of the thing, all right? Make sense. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't make sense. One, Very good. Not a main clause. Because of and due to, they mean the same, although mm -hmm. due to often has a negative connotation. Because of and due to are followed by a noun or a noun phrase. In this case, guys, and that's why when I can't remember who gave me the example, here, what you can ask me, Jessica, when do I use because and when do I use because of, okay? Remember that here it says, because of has to be followed by a noun, the great music or the music, because of the music. Quítale el great si quiere. Pero music is a noun, ¿cierto? It's not a verb, all right? So, the difference between because and because of is because, I, I say, because I want to get a job. Because plus subject plus verb. I need a job, subject plus verb. Por eso no me cabe. I cannot say I want, I want, I study English because of I want to get a job. ¿Me entiende la diferencia entre because and because of? Yes, ma'am. All right, guys, what about the rest? Do you guys understand the difference the, of using because and because of? Yes. Not uh, sure, please. Yes, I do. The, the last name again. Yeah, decía yo. Very good. <laughs> All right, veamos aquí. I'm just going to write it here. Okay, so here I say, uh, oops, 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 that's not for your class, that's the other class. Niños, si van a llegar todos a tomar TOEFL preparation, ¿verdad que sí? Díganme que sí. A what? Yes. TOEFL preparation, are you guys are going to take TOEFL preparation with me when we finish the advanced oh, levels? Nice. So, nice teacher. Definitely. Yes, I hope so. All right, I want so, to see you. Yeah, good to get the, the TOEFL t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's so after, great, great, great after this one, purpose. guys, this is not a commercial. After this course, you have three more advanced. Advanced one, advanced two, and advanced three. When you finish advanced one, two, and three, you take TOEFL one, TOEFL two, and TOEFL three. All right. So if you want to, I'm going to be here teaching. All right. Very good. Yeah. Perfect. What person of the student get the TOEFL? Excuse me? What person of the student? What get percentage? The uh -huh, uh, what percentage? I, I yeah. mean, it really depends on how much you really study, but here's just like we prepare you for it. We don't really, I mean, you don't take the TOEFL with us. We prepare you for it. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the TOEFL is more difficult than the TOEIC, or is it? Same? Yes, it is, my friend. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, but we also have the toy preparation, also three courses. So you can be with us for a long time, guys, if you want to. Okay, okay. so it says, I, oops, I is study, I is study English. Can you guys see what I'm typing? Yes. Yeah. All right, I is study English because I 
want a job, all right? Because I want a job, mm -hmm. yes? Here we're talking, mm -hmm. we're using because, yeah. guys, mm -hmm. yes? Ahí está solo el because. I'm just gonna highlight it here, all right? Because, ¿qué es el I, guys? What's the, what's I? Subject. Subject. It's a noun. Yeah, it's a noun or uh, the sub, it's a sub, it's the, su the subject pronoun, all right? So it's I, the subject. What is one? It's a bird. It's a it's verb, a bird. all right? A verb. That's a verb. So I say, very good. It's a verb. Okay. It's a noun. It's, okay, give me a second here. This is my, oh, let's take the same sentence that we have here. This is my favorite club. This is my favorite. How do you spell favorite, guys? I just forgot. Well, anyway. Spell it for me, F-A-V-O. Jesus Christ. R-I-T-E. R-I-T-E. Like that, right? This is my favorite club, thank you. Uh, just para que sientan que están despiertos. This is my favorite club due to, uh, due to the music. the music, all right? Due to the music. Vamos a hacer más grande aquí. All right. Due to. We're talking about due to now, all right? So here, what is the music, guys? It's a noun. Oh, it's a noun. noun. It noun. is not a verb. All right. Quiere decir que because siempre va a ser, si usted puso atención en la plataforma decía, because va a ser seguido de un subject y de un verb. El do to va a ser seguido de un noun or a noun phrase. El noun phrase lo que pasa que es más larga. All right. Pero en este caso solo dejémoslo con the music. All right. Oops. Si me entiende, yo no puedo venir y decir, I study English due to I want, uh, I want a job. Eso yo no lo puedo decir nunca. Due to no, no me sigue un, un sujeto con un verbo, me sigue un nombre, un sustantivo. ¿Ya? Yeah? Guys? Oh, yeah. yeah. Si yo le digo, uh, um, I always, I always go to these, or I always come. I always come to these rest, restaurant due to, due to the food. All right, the food is a noun, is not a verb. Yes? Yeah. Guys? Yeah. Ahora, estoy siempre dando una razón por qué siempre vengo a ese restaurante, but I'm not using because. I'm not only using because. I mean, I'm using due to. I can use because of the food. Y ahí también puedo usar because of. In the the result. Too. Yes. All right, vamos a hacer. También les quede el example acá, permítame. So, la otra es, I... Always come to this restaurant because of the food. All right, el because of, porque lleva la partícula o la preposición of, no me puede ser seguido de un sujeto y un verbo. Igual que el do to, voy a usar un noun. You understand that, guys? Yes. Puede yeah, ver la diferencia entre one and the other sentences. Igual estoy dando una razón, ¿ya? Yeah? But in, in, in each example, yeah. I'm using a different uh, conjunction or a different word. Due to, of los puedo usar si me van seguido o siguen o le sigue a ellos un noun, no un verbo y no un sujeto. Girls, do you understand? Yes. yes. Guys, yeah, everybody. Yes, for, uh, uh -huh, for example, in the case of I study, I study English because of a job. Can I say that? Because it does make some sense. If it would make sense, because you could of, because uh, of a job. Yeah, because of a particular job. 
all right like to make it more like to have more, to make more sense of it to a, like an extraordinary job that i've been offered for example because of an extraordinary job because of an extraordinary job offer for example but then you're not using again a subject or a verb you're using an adjective and then you're using a noun yeah en la última oración sí si sí, en lugar de decir me gusta este restaurante por la comida dijera eh, me gusta perdón eh, siempre vengo a este restaurante porque me gusta ahí si fuera ah, sí. because I like it exacto because, Celina, because verdad Celina, 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 usted fue sí. verdad Sí, sí, sí. Es que no estaba viendo ahí, solo ya reconozco voces. <laughs> I always eh, come to this restaurant because uh -huh. I, I like I like the food. ¿Sí? Siempre meto la food, pero la food va al final, lo que va después de because es el subject y luego el verb. ¿Ya? Yeah? Okay. Guys, you understand? Yeah. Selena, you understood? Yeah. Yes? Yeah? Yes. Excellent. Yeah. Thank Very you. Good example. No, thank you. It was a nice example, right? So, ahí vemos la diferencia. ¿Qué estamos Vengo diciendo desde ya ratitos. Es poder en inglés, obviamente, I guess, in Spanish too, and in every single language. We can say the same thing in different ways, okay? So that's why we give you like ideas so you guys can like understand it. Pero ahora les puede quedar claro cuando, cuál es la diferencia de because of y because. Si sí, es el mismo because, all right, no, pero no es el mismo. Después del because necesito un sujeto y un verbo. Y después del because of necesito un sustantivo o un nombre. A noun, a noun. A noun, right? Entonces ahora ya no le pueden decir no, así déjalo, no, cuál, dígale usted, that's not true. All right. Okay. Vamos a trabajar ahorita nada más con el because, because of, since, and due to. All right. I want you to go to your class, I mean, to your groups, and I want you to come up with a sentence similares a las que acabamos de hacer aquí con lo del restaurant y del inglés. All right. We're going to talk to you right now, guys, again. You can look so messy, eh? I'm sorry. All right. So here. I want, you, I want you guys to make similar sentences, but some of them using because of, some of them using because, the other one using due to, and the other one using since. Entonces vamos, acuérdese que since y because van como bien de la mano, y because of y due to también van de la mano. Una clave, mis niños, es que en ambos, tanto due to y because of, usted lleva una... Si le quiere llamar preposición, llámele preposición. Después de una preposición no va un verbo. All right? No puede ir un verbo. Okay? Y not in these sentences. Yeah? So what I want you to do right now, I want you to come up with four sentences. One with since, one with because, one of because of, and the other one due to. All right? Y vaya jugando ahí a ver cómo le sale esas. Cuando regresemos, I have is an, an activity that, for example, if I'm working with Jose Ramos, yo le voy a preguntar a Jose Ramos, eh, why would you like to, I don't know, or something, right? Y Jose va a ver si va a usar because, because of, since, due to. Respuesta, y así vamos a ir, one and one, all right? So right now, guys, go, por favor, vea cómo las escriben en la compu para que cuando yo entre, I can, I can see it, all right? You can use word or you can use on any other thing that you can like work on. Hey, you guys. Aquí están. Se me han perdido todos. Aquí están. All right. 21, igual que ayer. Wow, guys. Very good. Nice. You guys are behaving. All right. You may open your groups now. Hello? Hi, Mario. Yeah, there's your teacher. <laughs> yeah, hi. You need to... 
Group so, right now, uh, so I'm with you now, huh? No, 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 no. You're supposed to be in a group. I don't know. You're supposed. Did uh, you get an invitation? Yeah, I did, and I typed in join in, but I don't know. It's not showing up my room though. Uh, Barbara's waiting for you there. Uh, Let me know. see. Let's see if I'm gonna. I'm gonna send you back to another group. Okay. Hold on. Hold on.
Hi, girls. Hi, teacher. Finished? No, teacher. Can you check in? In the chat, please. Ah, check. okay. Uh -huh. Check in. Uh, Okay. Oh, nice. Samples. Excellent. Very nice. All right. I play the guitar because I enjoy it very much. Nice. She studies a lot because she wants, she studies a lot because she wants to pass the test. The flight was canceled. Excellent, girls. Very well done. Nice. Okay. Very good. You got a happy face. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Very good. Jenny, are you a teacher? Yes. <laughs> I know because of your background. Only, only in Spanish. <laughs> All right. Well, soon you're going to be an English teacher too, Jenny. Oh. <laughs> Very <I guess>. good. <laughs> Thank you. Nice. Very good. Teacher, can you yes. check the chat, please, for my sentences? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Yes. You show it to me. Yeah. Do you have it on? I mean, I need. Do you have it open your chat, eh, Selena? Ah, ok. Sí. Lo, lo tengo abierto, pero ah, quizás la voy a compartir mejor. Ajá, uh -huh, ok. Procure que no le vaya a dar algo, teacher, porque tú, tú creo que no lo puedes usar mucho. Ajá. Estaba viendo, acuérdese, Elizabeth, que are también es un verbo. Lo que pasa es que es un verbo, el verbo be, pero es verbo. To be. Ajá. Entonces no podríamos usar do to. Cuando dice be. All right. Selina, esas son las suyas, Eli. Eh, es de todas, ¿verdad? Ah, ok, ok, ok. Ajá. Elizabeth, es this one. Ok. Jenny. En el caso de la primera, vamos a ir en orden, vamos a ver. Because of okay. I feel tired, but I want to learn. Eh, en este caso no puede ir el because of, because después de ese va I feel tired. I es sujeto y feel es verbo. Entonces, because I feel tired. Ok. Ajá. Uh -huh. Mm, pero por el contexto de su oración, tendría que ser, aunque me siento cansada, quiero aprender. ¿Eso quiso decir, Eli? Sí. Yes. Ajá, entonces ahí sería, oh, no, yes, no es because, ¿verdad? But because I feel... Teacher, oh, es que el, Ajá. El, el because of en español nosotros lo leemos como a pesar de... Yeah, but it's not sí. Spanish, Eli, it's English. It's Spanish. <laughs> Yeah. All Very right. <laughs> yeah. So, uh huh. Yeah. In este caso, tendría Gosh, que ser. I feel tired. Puede ser. I. I feel tired because I. I want to. I went to I bed late. To <laughs> All right. Let's see. From Jenny, she studies I. a lot because she wants to pass the test. Yeah. I always study because I love to learn. I always study. Because I love to learn. I no, no, después de love. I love to okay. learn. Uh -huh. The flight was canceled it's due to infinitive. bad weather. Yes, it is. Yes. Mm -hmm. Acuérdese, Selina, que cuando tiene dos veces así, por ejemplo, ay, ay, un animalito. Hey, I love to go, I love to play, I love to sing. Si sí necesito un infinitivo. Entonces, como en español, me encanta cantar. Okay. Cantar está en infinitivo. ¿Verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. en ese caso, I love to eh, okay. learn. Uh -huh. me, me gusta aprender, ¿verdad? The fly was can okay. I like to go to a library due to... Yeah, due to books of science. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, all right. Okay. Yeah, very nice. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful, thank you guys. Yeah, nice. All right, I'm gonna go check in another group quickly and then we're gonna go back, okay? Okay, okay. All right. Hi, Diego, hi, Francisco, are you guys finished? Yeah, teacher. Excellent, all right. Do you, did you write them anywhere? Did you type them anywhere or not? 
Oh, I don't good. know. <laughs> we have the four sentences. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Since, oh my goodness, it's blurry. You may read them, Dieguito, while I'm, I'm kind of like reading at the same time. Since I? Since I, sorry, this okay. is a mistake. Uh, since I met the Cerro Verde, uh -huh. I visited. Okay, all right. Then I buy a new car because I don't want to walk or take <laughs> the bus. Okay, yeah, all right, that's a good reason, yes. She likes the to third go. one, she likes to go to the parties because of the food or the music. Excellent. All right. Very nice. Just, you know what, uh, Francisco and Diego, I would omit the parties. She likes to go to parties. Quítale el artículo da. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds better. Very nice. Okay. All right. And the last one. Okay. The last one. The unemployment will high due to the economic crisis yes of course very good yeah all right good sentences guys thank you so much very good we're gonna go back okay. right now to the main group and i'm gonna you guys are gonna take a picture of an activity and then you're gonna go back to the groups okay, okay. thank you very nice okay. thank you All right, guys, I, I don't know if you were able to finish and I saw a couple of your sentences and they're like there, they're great there. You're we're working on it and that's OK. That's good. Right now, what I want you to do is I want you to I want you to take a picture of this. All right. These are conversation cards. If we were if we were in a classroom, I would have like, you know, got them out and everything for you. But since we are here, I can't. So these are the questions. Take a picture of this ones. There are more under, like underneath. Sorry, Alejandra, I didn't see you coming into class. That's why I was like, where is Alejandra? Ale, are you there? Anyway. No, it was me. It was Alexia. Oh, Alexia. Was... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's you, Alexia. <laughs> oh, my goodness. You see, I thought it was Alejandra. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, very good. So did you finish taking these pictures, guys? The first picture? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Either a, a picture or a screenshot, okay. either one, that's fine. This is the second one. No, the, this is still it... the first one, Rocio. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, and... My dear this... teacher. Yes, my dear student. Why, hasta ahí solo puedo tomarle hasta, hasta donde dice why are more feet. Entonces la siguiente sería why is bird. Okay, speak. okay. Uh -huh. this... Ahí, Helmet. Sí, ahí, that's right, teacher. ¿Por qué no me pregunta, teacher? <risa> El que quiere que le pregunte. Mercito. ¿Ah? El que quiere que le pregunte. Y ya se lo pregunte, Leticia. Usted sabe el qué. No. <risa> You're very special, Elena. Ah, ya sé. Va a seguir con nosotros el TOEFL Preparation Course. Vaya, le hice una pregunta. No, teacher, I regret to the basics because <laughs> you're I, gonna go back I like to, to basic. like uh, an all night, teacher. Oh, my goodness. All right. Yes, teacher. <laughs> all right. I think, yeah, th those were the uh, two pictures. Only two pictures, guys, right? So if you see, sí, no tome, no tome lo lo teacher, por favor. Yo guardo. Ajá, sí, eso. That's right. Si es que se me queda la pantalla que tengo, es. Es chiquitita. Es pequeñita. Ajá. All right. Okay. Gracias. All right. Can you go back up a little bit? Uh, we're just going to, yeah, let's see. There, that's the beginning. Okay. <clears throat> Got it. All right. Okay. So we have like about two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen questions. More than enough. All right. So the idea is, for example, if I'm working with Mario Cortez, I'll say, aha, Mario. Why are dogs better than cats? And Mario can say, because dogs are friendlier. All right, and he's using because, all right? 
or so due, due to, uh, I don't know, their fur, I love cats more. I don't know, but the idea is for you, depending on your reason, I want you to use since, because, because of, due to, all right, properly. Acuérdese que because and since pueden ser seguidos de noun, uh, perdón, de sujetos, subjects, and mm -hmm. uh, verbs. And due to and because of their followed by noun or noun phrases, all right? Y usted vaya ahí corrigiendo, ayudando a su compañera, compañera, right? So try to do it. Why is good to have 10 fingers? I don't know. You make up like the reasons, all right? The idea is to speak and to practice because, because of, since, due to, all right? So we have like about 10 minutes, guys. So we can actually do that. So we're, I'm going to send you right now to... Your groups again, van a seguir trabajando con las mismas personas. All right, so let's go. Okay. Herbert, ¿con quién estaba trabajando, Herbert? Con Mario Cortés. Con Mario. Y Natalie, ¿con quién estaba, Natalie? With Eric. With Eric. Eric, Eric, where are you, Eric? Eric, all right, okay. All right, Natalie, there you go. Okay. Herbert, what happened, Herbert? Oh, yeah, okay.
¿verdad? Yes. Mm -hmm. Why are math so boring at school? Why are math uh, so boring at school? Why are math so boring at school? ¿Por qué mm -hmm. son las matemáticas tan aburridas en la escuela? Ah, eh, de Mare Mare. Y, y uh, are boring at the school because... Ah, no. Eh, do to... Do two mm -hmm. the, the the methodology they football are very popular sport in some countries. Um, Hi Alexi, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. This guy didn't see you. I'm like, oh okay. So I thought you were not in class. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But I I mean I I I miss you. That's why. <laughs> Problem. There's no problem. <laughs> I'm here. <laughs> Very good. Yeah. I'm not. Hi, Hi teacher. Lizzie. How are you? Ya me va a regañar Jose. Ya nos pasamos. Hey. Yeah, teacher. It's time. Yeah, I know. We're going to go back right now. <laughs> All right. Lizzie, todo bien? Sí, gracias a Dios, sí. Ok, very good. I'm mm -hmm. happy to hear that. Thank you. Very good. All right, guys, we're going to sí. go back, ok? Ok, teacher. Bye. All right, guys, I know that you were not able to finish all those questions because there are quite a few, but it's ok. Eli, hi, Eli. Hi. <laughs> I'm sorry. Very good. Yeah. Okay. So it was good. The idea is to practice a little bit. So maybe we can like have some more practices with uh, speaking with like worksheets like those later on. All right. So that's good. So guys, we need to go. Jose Rodrigo was telling me, teacher, it's time, it's time. I know, Jose, all right? So thank you so much for being in class again. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Please keep on, like, checking the platform and everything, and I'll catch up with all the comments, okay? So thank you so much for being with me. Have a great night. I'll see you all tomorrow. And I love it when we have a full house, all right? Bye, guys. Good night. Bye-bye. Good night, everyone.